What's going on guys, it's Real Touch GML here back with another Game Maker Coding Basics tutorial. This is number two. And today what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be diving into scripts and arguments and stuff like that. So we're gonna be making a basic calculator in here, okay? So basically last tutorial we went uh, briefly on if else ladders and variables, right? So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive into a little bit more of what game maker has specifically for the engine instead of what you know other you can what you can use with other languages right so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly create an object and in the create event actually you note know in the draw event uh, go to the control tab and right click on execute code here we are so with the draw tab, uh, with the draw event, what we're going to do is we are just going to draw some text, right? And we're going to make a basic calculator. So what you can do is say draw text, and again down here the arguments below show you what you need. So it makes it very simple. So I can just say ten, or I'll just say a hundred, one hundred, and then the string. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to instead of just say, you know, have a string and then close it off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a script, okay? So let me go ahead and you can see the scripts folder right here. I'm going to create a script and I'm going to call this script uh, math, okay? And what I'm going to do is I am going to create a variable var num1 and var num2. Now, basically, what happens is you might be saying to yourself, why are you putting var in front of num1 and num2? And, you know, just not just having it be like that. Well, basically, what this allows me to do is uh, have, if you put var in front of here, this makes num1 a temporary variable, which means it, it after it's done going through the code, it's going to delete itself. So I could say this equals to argument 0. Okay? And this equals to argument one. Now what we're doing here is we're setting up parameters. So just like in our draw event here, we have, if we if we click on this, we have x, y string. Those are three parameters for this function that GameMaker already had in its engine. So right here, if we click on scripts, we're gonna need to put two numbers into there, okay? And now we can use the return statement. So return, num1 plus num2 basically what this is doing is this is taking our two variables num1 num2 and returning it adding adding them together and returning them back to where we originally called the math script okay so if we go back into draw here and say I put let's say answer equals math 100 100 and instead of a string here what I can say is string and I'll get into why I'm saying string answer all right so now if I put it in a room we should see 200 appear just let it compile so as you can see we now have 200 right here so this is, I went a little fast here, but this is the introduction to scripts and return statements and all that because it, it is very important. So what we're doing is we're taking, we're creating a variable named answer and we're equaling it to math 100, 100, right? And those are our parameters. So if we want, so we're basically saying add 100, 100. So since we're equaling answer to this, basically when we return num1 plus num2, this method takes the value of whatever it returned. So since it's 200, 200, that's like saying answer equals 200. Okay, so we can take answer, we can equal that to math 100, 100, and then print that out in there. We can also, instead of doing that, we can say math 100, 100. Instead of actually calling it to a variable itself, we can easily just put that in the actual statement itself. So again, this just proves that when you return 
it the function does equal what it returns. But uh, programmers don't generally like to do this because of the fact that you know you can't reuse it. If you wanted to get whatever this answer was again, then you're gonna need to call this method again. Instead, instead if you just put it right into a variable itself, like answer, then you can use it over and over and over again. But as you can see, if we just have answer here, let me run it. Let it compile. We get 200. So usually, what you're going what, what's going to happen is this is going to be an integer. So just to make sure, if you want to, it, it's called a cast system. So if you wanted, say this was a was a uh, boolean or a you know a a integer or something like that. So if we had, actually no, that's a bad example. Sorry about that. Uh, so uh, you know, I'll just show you about the cast system. So basically, if we have this answer here and it's a boolean or something, we want to cast it to a string because because if we look in this parameter here, it needs a string. So a cast is just basically you say what type you want to put it, and then and then you surround it with the parentheses here. All right. Usually in other languages, a cast would actually work the opposite. So you would have to put string in, in parentheses and then have the answer next to it. But that's not how GameMaker works because it likes to be different. <laughs> All right. So that's a very, very basic calculator. Where I'm going to be going more into functions next tutorial. But basically, uh, this is the basics on scripts and all that stuff. So we called our, our script, we've added this. So instead of putting 100, what if we say, you know, 1,000 and we run it? Eleven hundred. okay? So that's basically it. And you can really do this with anything. So say you wanted to subtract, you would put the minus sign. Say you wanted to multiply, you would press shift and then the eight key on your keyboard and that is the multiplication symbol it's not x or anything like that okay or if you want to divide you put the forward slash all right so that's that's the tutorial for today go and leave a like go and subscribe let's try for 50 likes this time i hope we can do it i hope you guys learn something learn about variables scripts uh pretty fast-paced tutorial feel free to replay it again you know because i did go a little bit fast but hey it's worth it. <laughs> All right, so I will see you guys next time.